Okay, so number five had a long question, so I didn't write it up here on the board, but of course you have it in front of you. Um, so let E be the error made in approximating the value of this particular series. So let me write the series down here. <clears throat> so we have from n equals 1 to infinity, alternating uh, over 1 plus n squared. So we want to approximate the value of this series, uh, approximate by using the first 100 terms. So the alternating series estimation theorem, so this, this question is really just a, a, a test of did you remember this theorem. Um, so remember that the alternating series estimation theorem always says that the error is going to be less than or equal to the next term. <clears throat> the absolute, or I should say the absolute value of the error. So the absolute value of our error is always going to be less than or equal to the absolute value of b sub n plus 1, where b, or actually, I don't need absolute value bar there, because b is the, the part of this series that doesn't include the alternating part. So b sub n is 1 over 1 plus n squared. So our error is always going to be less than or equal to the next term in the series. Well, we want the error by approximating with 100 terms. So therefore, our error is going to have to be less than or equal to, let me write this as e sub 100. So the error in approximating by 100 terms is going to be smaller or equal to b of the next term. The next term would be the 101st term. So we just need to figure out what the 101st term is. Well, we can just plug in 101 and see what that is. B sub 101 is 1 over 1 plus 101 squared, which of course you're not expected to write out there. And that's exactly one of the answers. So that's all we have to do here. So just remember that the error term <clears throat> by approximating for a certain number of terms is always less than or equal to the value of the next term.